Will Dustin Poirier retire if he loses at 299? Stay tuned to hear my thoughts. I'm Wyatt, and this is Fight Society. All right, guys, so we're back. UFC 299, we've been cranking out these videos. Thank you for staying tuned. Dustin Poirier versus Benoit Saint-Denis. Big fight for both of these guys. As I said in the Closer Look video, I think that Dustin Poirier is probably one loss from retirement. And I think he's in the same position as D Justin Gaethje, where it's like, get the belt and then retire or lose and retire. Because both of these guys have talked about they want big fights, and this is like the end of the road for them. So going into this fight, I know, I know that the UFC offered Dustin Poirier something big in return for taking this matchup because Dustin Poirier literally was saying, I'm waiting for something big. I'm just waiting for something big. And he wanted to get the Nate Diaz fight. And then they announced that he's fighting 11th or 12th ranked French guy that just beat Matt Frivola. So not to dismiss Benoit Saint-Denis, he's a, he's a stud, but it's just not the matchup that Dustin Poirier was vying for. So I think this is this fight is the last fight of Dustin's career with a loss. And or I could see it being that. Now for Benoit Saint-Denis, I see this being a huge step up in talent. That's no secret. Matt Frivola to Dustin Poirier, two different worlds of talent. These are two very different fights. And that's the thing with the UFC is there is the UFC just being fight at a UFC fight. And then there is top 15. That's one thing. And then there is top 10. That's a little bit more of a thing. But top five, like Dustin Poirier, the difference between top five and top 15 is a huge jump. And no shade to Matt Frivola, but he's not Dustin Poirier. And that just is what it is. This is a whole different fight than what Benoit Sandini just had in November. Dustin Poirier is a dog. And so is Benoit Sandini. And they're going to go to war. Now, the thing that I'm concerned about for Dustin is that he just lost via head kick and Benoit Saint-Denis just won via head kick. So that's something that I think Dustin definitely needs to correct in his defense and preparation is getting set up for that head kick because you know Saint-Denis is going to be looking for it. But with Benoit Saint-Denis being a grinder, brawler, grappling heavy fighter, and Dustin Poirier having so much experience in heavy striking battles, but also being well-versed on the ground. I think that Dustin Poirier has a very, very good chance of having the edge up here. And I think that him basically fighting is for his career in every fight is a huge motivating factor for him and for his legacy. He doesn't want to, I know I'm not saying that this is my opinion about Sandini, but from a Dustin standpoint, he doesn't want to lose to just some French guy that was just unranked in November and just beat Matt Frivola. Who gives a fuck about that? Like, I think that Dustin Poirier needs this win more than any of his past fights since the Khabib fight. And this is it for Dustin. This is the end of the road. He needs a win here. And if he could win in an extremely impressive fashion, I could see him jumping the UFC 300 little tournament they got going on. Um, because basically you have Sandini and Poirier. I don't think Sandini gets a title shot with a win, but I think Poirier could, could, I'm not saying he will. And then you have Olivera Sarukian, that winner could get a title shot and Holloway versus Gaethje. That winner could get a title shot. So I think that Islam would want to fight somebody he hasn't fought before. So that makes me think it would be Dustin or Gaethje over Olivera if all of those guys win, but we'll see from a stake standpoint. I, and, and from a pride standpoint, Dustin is going to go in there and take this fight very seriously. Cause part of his, the end of his career, his legacy could depend on this fight. And if he gets finished by a 12th ranked guy that most people don't know that just beat Matt Frivola and was just unranked in November, that's going to fucking sting. That is going to hurt. And that's going to be a tough way to retire, especially when you were vying for a Nate Diaz fight. So, because Dustin Poirier would whoop Nate Diaz's ass right now. So my prediction based on that is that Dustin Poirier is going to win against Benoit Sandini 
in an absolute war. I'm not quite sure how he gets it done yet. I'm not sure. I'm leaning towards a decision. I think this is going to be a real war, but I could also see Dustin with a second or third. Eh, I could see Dustin with a third or fourth round TKO, but we'll see. Dustin hits really hard, and ben, uh, Benoit Sandini is going to have that chin tested. So that's my official prediction is that Dustin Poirier will win against Benoit Saint-Denis at UFC 299. Let me know what you guys think. Who wins this fight and who do you want to see get the next lightweight title shot against Islam Makachev? If you like this video and you want more content just like this, click that subscribe button down below. If you want more content from me, go check out my weekly comedy podcast, The Hissy Fit Podcast, and go check out my personal channel, Wyatt's World. Go watch this suggested video and I'll see you next time.